Hello children, we will continue our discussion on the lesson Changing Families. Today we will meet another family. children we will meet the third family it is nestle's family <laughs> you know there is great joy in nestle's family because her cousin brother is getting married okay now on page number 71 we have got four pictures again now tell me what do you see in the first picture Ma'am, I can see an auntie. Her face is covered and I think Nazli is sitting near her. Okay. What about the second picture? Ma'am, I can see another auntie talking to her. And in the third picture, I can see the newlywed bride and groom is coming to their house. The an auntie is welcoming them. The house is also decorated. And in fourth picture, I can see they are all enjoying hot tea and sweets. So, we have seen there is a marriage in Nasli's family. A new auntie has come to their home. See, they are all wearing beautiful dresses, isn't it? Yes, the house yes, is also decorated. Now, we will go to page number 71 and discuss the questions there. Shall we start? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you think that there will be any change in Nestle's family after this wedding? What will change? The new auntie will come to their house. Yeah, that new auntie will come to their house. Next question. Do you think there will be changes in the home from where the new bride has come? What kind of changes? There will be changes in the new auntie's house. Their parents will miss her a lot. Yeah, she will miss them also and they will miss her also. Now, I have got another homework for you. Here on page number 72, there are some questions. Talk to your mother and aunts in the family. Ask them about where they lived before they got married. Who were the members in their families then? These two questions you will write it and bring tomorrow. Okay? Okay, yes, ma'am. Now moving to the next question. Has anybody in your family been married recently? Yes, my cousin's sister got married recently. Okay, so you must have enjoyed in that wedding. Yes, ma'am. What kind of special food is cooked, Lenin? <clears throat> there were many varieties of food. Palau, sweets ice cream and many more. It was so yummy. What was the bride and groom wearing? The groom was wearing a shewani and he had a turban. The bride was wearing a beautiful sari. My mother said it was my so silk. She was also wearing a lot of jewels and had flowers on her hair. Both were really looking beautiful. Okay, both were really looking beautiful now. Yes, what else? Oh, what about the songs and the dancers? We all danced at the song and we had a lot of fun. Okay, so that means Lenin, you really enjoyed in the wedding, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay.
request all the children who are viewing this presentation to complete the activity on page number 72 and submit it to their EVS teacher. We saw changes taking place in Nimi's family, Sering's family and Nestle's family. Now you have to tell me one by one what are these changes. First, Nimi's family. A new baby was born. Sering's family. Her father got a promotion. And they got shifted to a? New place. Yeah. What about Nestle's family? Her, uh, her cousin brother got married. Yeah, her cousin brother got married. Now, other than these, there can be some changes. Okay, the family. And there will be some reasons also for this. Can you tell me some more reasons? Yes, ma'am. Tell me. Due to that of some family members. In class 3, we have learned that Sita Mas Taiji passed away. And her mother used to take care of those children also. Yes, yes, you have recalled correctly. We have learned about Sita Mas family now? Yes, yes, yes. ma'am. Some other reason you tell? Due to division of property. Yeah, due to division of property also, there will be so many changes in the family. What else? When someone in the family is not well. Yeah, when someone in the family is not well also, so many changes will happen in the family. What else? Now due to Corona also. Yeah, exactly. Now due to Corona also, so many changes are happening in families now. It's if some nice. family member is quarantined, then all the family members will have to change their daily routine. Correct. Okay children, now I have got another homework for you. On page number 73, you can see one table. Can you yes, see? Yes ma'am. Yeah. What you have to do is, talk to three old people, one from your family, one from your friend's family, and one from a family in your neighborhood. Ask them these questions and fill in the table. Now, once I will read all the questions for you. Just listen. Yes, Since how many years has your family been staying here? Where did your family live before coming here? How many members are there in your family today? How many members were there in your family 10 years ago? What were the reasons for the changes in your family in the last 10 years? How do you feel about all these changes? Now you have to discuss at home, write it and bring it tomorrow. Will you do it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I request all the children who are viewing this presentation to complete the activity on page number 73 and submit it to their EVS teacher. Okay children, have you done yesterday's homework? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Shall we discuss it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay children, you have done a wonderful work. I am happy you have discussed with your elders and written all this. And I can see your family have shifted from very far place to this place and so many changes have taken place. Good work. will discuss about family tree. You remember in class 3 we learned about family tree? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. You also drew your family tree now? Yes ma'am. Yes, ma okay. I will explain the family tree once more for you. Then you have to draw your family tree and show it to me. Will you do it? Yes ma'am. Ma now first we will discuss our family tree. Okay. In the family tree at the top 
you will have your grandparents that is your mother's mother and mother's father on one side and father's father and father's mother on the other That's side right. so one side you have your maternal grandparents maternal grandparents means mother's, mother's. parents and on the other side you have your paternal, paternal grandparents. grandparents that is your father's parents then below that you have your mother her brothers sisters everyone and on the other side you have your father his brothers his sisters everyone okay then below that you will have yourself your brother or sister is it clear to you yes ma'am okay another question on page number 74 ask your grandmother or grandfather how many members were there in their family when they were your age then draw a family tree in your notebook of their family when they were young so here first we will draw our maternal grandparents family tree that is your mother's parents okay so on one side you will have your great grandmother and great grandfather that is your grandmother's father and mother. mother okay below that you will have your grandmother's brothers and sisters in one one boxes on the other side you will have your great grandmother and great grandfather here it is your grandfather's father and mother okay then below that you will have your grandfather his brothers and sisters then below that at last you will have your mother your mother's brothers and your mother's sisters Sister. so this will make your maternal grandparents family tree same way you have to draw your paternal grandparents family tree same way it will be only change will be in place of your mother it will be your father is it clear yes ma'am yes ma'am is it clear to you yes, yes ma'am ma so tomorrow when you come you have to draw and bring your paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents family tree i request all the children who are viewing this presentation to draw their maternal grandparents family tree and paternal grandparents family tree and submit it to their evs teacher hello children hello, hello ma'am ma did you do yesterday's work which i gave yes ma'am so you have drawn two family trees one is your maternal grandparents and another is your paternal, paternal grandparents, grandparents. we will discuss the questions on page number 74 just look at it now draw a family tree of your present family in your notebook can you see yourself anywhere in this family tree yes ma'am i can see myself my sister mother and father what about you yes ma'am i can see myself my father my mother and my brother okay now we will move to page number 75 Can you tell in what ways the family tree of your grandmother or grandfather in their childhood is different from your family tree today? In their times 
they were many many members in a family but now they are only four members yeah four members in your family you are right so now we will discuss about joint families and nuclear families first we will understand what are joint families see a joint family has got many members for example if your grandmother grandfather auntie uncle their children your family all are living together then it becomes a joint family. family okay and this joint family has got many advantages many plus points what are they first thing is in a joint family there is division of work the work get distributed among the members second is in a joint family old people babies all will get good care and another thing is you will have so many members so you can share all your problems with them yes okay ma but then this joint family has a small problem also you know what is it sometimes there can be difference in opinion among the members okay okay ma'am when 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 i was uh, a bit small then i then i heard from my great grandmother she had told when she was young they were 22 members in a house 22 members and during the marriages and festivals they used to do all the works together ma'am then where have these joint families gone you have asked a very good question now let me tell you still joint family exist in many families but in many families people are moving out in search of job and for higher education so what is happening the joint family is getting divided, divided. and they are becoming small nuclear families understood only few members are there in a nuclear family yes mine is a nuclear family ma'am yeah yours is a nuclear family because only three members are there is it not his is also a nuclear family because four members are there when i am not well my mother my mother and father goes to work and i have to be alone at home okay i don't feel lucky when my when i am not feeling well because if it would be a joint family then my grandma would take care of me yeah you wish you had a joint family right yes ma'am okay now we will have to read some more questions which are given in the textbook now very interesting questions are there see the first question on page number 75 up to which class do you want to study tell me sujeta ma'am i want to study till i become an astronaut very good what about you i want to study still engineering okay you want to become an engineer you want to become an astronaut great up to which class have your parents studied my parents have studied till they have done pg okay what about you lenin my parents have studied still pg till which class did your grandmother get a chance to study till 12th up to 12th what about you 6th 6th at what age did your grandmother get married 24 24 what about you 11 11 have you heard of a law that talks about the ages before which girls and boys must not get married Ma'am, some age is there, but I exactly don't know. Okay, now I will tell you the real story of a girl named Sushila from Andhra Pradesh. Let us read it, then we will have a discussion. There are many girls who get married before they are 18 years old. Many of them have to even leave school. There are many true stories of girls like Sushila of Renga Reddy district who are going back to school. She also got the help of the panjayat. The panjayat said that young children should play and study and not be married off. A group of people of Andhra Pradesh holds special camps to help married girls to 
go back to school. Chengamma and Chitti say, We would like to study and stand on our own feet. Okay, children, you have heard about the example of Sushila, no? Yes, ma'am. See, she wanted to study, but her parents wanted to get her married yeah. off. Is it right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. So, our government has made a law. That law says that to get married, a boy should be at least of 21 years and girl should be 18 years old. Understood? Yes, ma'am. If anybody forces them to get married before this age, then they will be punished. Understood? Now, we will move to page number 76. Are there any such children in your neighborhood who had to drop out of school? Do they want to go back to school? Tell me. Near my house, some constructions are going on. Okay. There, I saw some children there. I, and they were not going to school at all. Okay. They were not going to school at all. Yes, ma'am. What about you? You have seen somewhere? When the school construction was going on here, I asked some children, don't you want to study? Okay. They said, yes, but we can't. Okay. They told you they want to go to school, but they can't go to school. Okay. What are they doing these days, those children? They help their parents and they take care of their younger brothers and sisters. Yeah, they are taking care of their younger brothers and sisters. sisters. Now, there are so many children who are not able to continue their studies. There are so many reasons for this. One is they are very poor. Okay, that means poverty is one reason. Another reason is their family members, that is their parents and others are not sending them to school. Do you think it is correct? No ma'am. No, it is not correct. So children, it was indeed a very informative discussion. Did you enjoy this discussion? Yes ma'am. Yeah, we discussed about your family, your brother and sister. Yes, we discussed about Nimmi's family, Sering's family and we discussed about Nasli's family. We even discussed about Corona. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma now we will summarize what we have learnt one by one. hope children you have understood the lesson very well yes ma'am yes ma'am dear children i hope you have understood the lesson changing families i will be back soon with another lesson till then goodbye